I work at the interface between chemistry and biology. The research we do has to do with proteins and their structure. In proteins, the shape leads to its particular function. We care about how proteins fold and how we can manipulate those protein folds. We started using a technique which we call pegylation. If you attach a peg to a protein, it's been shown that that can help the protein last longer in the blood. So a protein drug might have a longer half-life in the blood, which would mean it'd be effective longer. We think this will be useful if you want to modify a particular protein. If you could look at the structure and pick a good site, uh, in advance, that would save a lot of time. A lot of pharmaceutical companies uh, now are developing protein-based pharmaceuticals and they need people who are able to manipulate protein folds. So there are a number of uh, peptide and protein drugs currently on the market. Fusion is one that inhibits fusion of HIV, the virus that ultimately leads to AIDS. You have to take 10 milligrams of peptide via injection twice daily. 10 milligrams is a massive amount of peptide. Very expensive to make. The, the cost to either the patient or to the insurer is any, anywhere from thirty dollars to $50,000 a year. If you didn't have to inject it that often, that would save the pharmaceutical company and the insurers and the patient a lot of money. We've shown that if you put PEG in a spot that makes the protein's structure more stable, that the protein is actually even more resistant to being degraded by enzymes than you would otherwise expect. So this lab is a, is a great platform in order to get into you know, protein biotechnology or protein, protein pharmaceuticals. I like Dr. Price's mentality towards research. I really like how he's motivating in a way where he encourages us to think of our own directions and to pursue our own avenues in the research. For the graduate students, I feel like my job is mostly to point them in the right direction and then get out of the way. My ambitions are to, to do research that might affect someone. So uh, the research is never done. You just follow where the science leads.